It has been a long time coming, too long if you ask the nearly 100,000 Americans living with sickle cell disease. For the first time in nearly 20 years, the FDA has approved a new medicine to treat it. In clinical trials, this drug, known as Indari, reduced frequency and length of hospital visits for sickle cell patients. As our Dave Delosier tells us, the hope is this new drug will loosen the grip that sickle cell has on people's lives. And I've just always been dancing since I can remember. In a studio, teaching high school students to dance, that is Marina Foji's passion. When I'm dancing, it's just, I'm not thinking about anything else. Dance offers a respite, but doesn't alter a reality. Marie has sickle cell disease. It's an invisible disease. Nobody's gonna tell that you're having pain. Marie has dealt with pain and hospitalizations throughout her life. You just know it's something you wouldn't wish on anybody else. I just, I don't know, talk about feeling like somebody is stabbing you with a knife and just like, I don't know, just whining it, twist, twisting it all over your body. Marie is 21 years old, and now for the first time in nearly 20 years, a new drug to treat sickle cell has been approved by the FDA. In clinical trials, Andari has been shown to reduce frequency and length of hospital visits. The significance is high because for almost 20 years, there have been no real promising developments. Amory Bresnik is the director of the University of Wisconsin's blood research program. He says genetic editing and stem cell research may one day provide a cure for sickle cell disease. A lack of funding is slowing that research. But when you consider U.S. hospitalization costs for sickle cell top $1.1 billion every year. Versus a single curative therapy that might be quite expensive at day zero. Uh, at the end of the day, the curative therapy might be economically more viable. Pop, pop. And it would change the lives of 100,000 Americans, pop. including Marie, and give her what a life with sickle cell has not. But it is nice to know that we can have hope. In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. And Dari, the drug recently approved by the FDA, helps to protect the cells of patients. It focuses on reducing the complications of sickle cell disease. The gene editing that is being worked on could one day provide a cure.